Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where we are gonna throw ourselves into an emotional maelstrom. Go to Thessia. Again, I, I'm a little bummed because obviously it feels like some of the impact is sort of lessened when you're, because the first time I played 3, you know, it was like, go, 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 but I haven't been able to play like that because my lifestyle is very different than it was, what, 12 years ago when I first played Mass Effect 3? Earlier than that? Wow. Anyway, locate the secret artifact. I also just finished a really good sci-fi book the other day. I, I read the first one earlier this year called Cascade Failure, Gravity Lost is the sequel. Um, they're super good. If any of you are ever looking for something that like fills like the void of Mass Effect, like sci-fi, sort of found family, but with like a little bit of romance, maybe kind of, and like just like fun, like actually funny, wisecracking people. It's kind of like Firefly, I guess, ish, in that like, it's so that wisecracking group of ragtag found family people. And that, you know, that's kind of the the vibe. But it fills the hole in my heart where Mass Effect and other, like, media similar to Mass Effect lives. <laughs> do, do, do. It's the beating heart of galactic love. Sorry, Homeworld's been called the crown jewel of the galaxy, the apex of demography, dem democracy, and the beating heart of galactic love. It's republics have a remarkably low incidence of war, disease, violent crime, or famine, riding a stable economy backed by wealthy colonies and Thessia's vast elements zero reserves. Traces of Ezo in the water and soil are so common that most life on Thessia has adapted to its presence. Thessia's fortunes have been upended by the rebirth salt. The communications infrastructure that forms the backbone of the society's e-democracies has been eliminated. Millions are without power, water, or food. A move to coerce these sorry into widespread surrender this is a necessary part of reefer strategy since husks alone have difficulty disarming or capturing a population full of biotics and yes every single asari is a biotic even if they aren't like trained warriors they are all biotic to some degree so trying to take over this planet be extremely difficult under heavy reaper attack there's activity across most of the planet what about the temple can you raise the scientists Negative. All channels are scrambled across the spectrum. I mean, Liara would know. Mission's looking really dicey. She's a starter shadow broker. This is too important. It's now or never. Shepard, that's my home down there. I have to go. Then get to the shuttle, and let's do I this. I mean, I don't want to, kind of, when she says it like that, but I understand, right? But again, she's like, my home's on fire, and I'm like, girly pop, join the club, everybody's home's on fire. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously we're gonna bring Javik because he has interesting things to say. Oh, we're gonna be so biotic heavy, it's fine. We're gonna be fighting Reapers, we'll be fine. Ooh, I'm gonna change my weapon though. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. The Wraith. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here we go. Liara, do you have anything more on this artifact? Woohoo! These coordinates the counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Mm, weird. Sounds like we're on the right Separation trail. Separation of state and religion. What if we're too late? My people are dying down yep. there. Your empathy is a weakness. You must numb yourself to Oh, loss. good. She's like, how about I just toss you out the airlock? <laughs> Benezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now, maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I studied your mission reports. Your mother was indoctrinated. Yes. We had to kill her. Mm -hmm. Yet it did not stop you from fighting. As I said, steal yourself. Many more lives will be lost. I mean, there's so... <laughs> he can be a little bit... He's very blunt, but like... 
he's, uh, I think he's trying in his own way to be comforting, sort of, or support, not, I don't know, not comforting necessarily, but kind of. But, yeah, I mean, I was, I don't know, I'm not gonna be mean about it. Like, I never felt like her mother got, like, I never felt like Liara was able to process her mother properly. I felt like that was always handled very weird. We can't ignore that people are dying. The Reapers may not have mercy, but we do. It is their indifference that gives them- No, Javik! Then let's show them there's another way- Yeah! Woo! It's nice them to death. No, I really do. I think- You can't forget your humanity, for lack of a better word. It looks just like Earth. This can't be happening. My home. There's no time to mourn. We're exposed up here. Let's get Their down. dialogue together here is really good. This is this is like I think the most high octane situation like that we've been in so far. Aha! I knew it. Yep, yep, yep. Requesting reinforcements at squad 091. Situation urgent. Tell me when you feel something. Yeah, there's no hole. Same. No, but my leg isn't even there. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, I honestly think the Asari would be doing better than this, but like, especially because they have warning, you know? Oh, hi. Commander, we heard <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. She did her she did a really good job though. That one woman's still there doing her best. Okay, come on, Shepard, and get in the gun. Trying to use a big gun on the little guys is a pain in the butt. not fun. I want to use my powers. Also, I feel like you guys should be helping me more than this. I do love this armor set. I want that gunship prepped and in the air. Plug that hole! We're on it! Someone get me a location on our snipers! Yes, ma'am! Commander, I'm Lieutenant Curran. We've been told to expect you. My orders are to hold this grid at all costs. Oh, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Shore up the barrier. But our perimeter's collapsing, and I'm getting my people out of here. This is important. We need your help. Well, unless you can give me a good reason to stay, we're not dying for a field of rubble. What exactly were you told about me? Nothing but your name. Mission details were classified, which just means we'll die without knowing why. I know what that's like, but you have to trust the chain of command. We're not even sure the chain still exists. So what are we doing here? We're after a relic inside the temple. It's important. That's what this is all about? One of our outposts has been trying to reach the scientists over there, but we lost contact. Get that gunship moving! Now! I'm sorry, Commander. If your relic has lasted this long, it can wait a little longer. I've lost enough people today. I'm pulling the rest of them out. No. Yep. I sense you the lineage of a leader. A warrior skilled and cunning. They are strong in your genes. But you've grown tired of them. You're exhausted by defeat. And now you worry you don't have the courage Ooh, to... Doing some spooky oh, stuff. Goodness. Find your resolve. This war can end if you do. I see. This is why it's good to bring Javik here specifically. He's got some good stuff going. We're building a Prothean superweapon. It will win this war. I believe it. This is Lieutenant Curran. Hold your positions. I want a path carved to the temple. Outpost Tychus, we've got people coming your way. Let's make sure the galaxy knows the war was won on Thessia. 
I mean, I think I could walk through the Make barrier. Count. Barrier, blah, 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 blah. I was here years ago. To see this Whoops. burning like this is... It can be rebuilt. Just worry about the next 20 meters. I mean, that sounds harsh, but like, tr I guess, right? You just gotta keep one step at a time. Every 20 meters. Watch it. Yeah, I hate those guys. I really do. Thank you. Thank you, gunship. Remember that, because here they come. Oh, I hate these guys. No. What is that? I need to get closer. Oh man, it's not. <laughs> hmm. Love that for me. I should put on ice. We need to make sure she's got. Yep. He dodged that. I'm on it. That was the last one. Then move! Get off the bridge! Yeah, we are really exposed on this thing. But yeah, this is this Tessia is like the center essentially of the galaxy. The Asari were like the ones who kind of made everything happen and everybody get along, like they're the ones who found the Citadel first, like... Their e-democracies were like the, the pinnacle. On that building, we the pinnacle of what we, uh... No! Damn them. What we were supposed to achieve. I mean, it's... You got it! You know what I... Like, I get it! It's like, okay... Uh... We're in a, like, feel for your people, right? You know, but like, and I, I don't know. But it just, it kind of rings hollow when, I don't know, nobody ever made, nobody makes a big deal about the humans dying. I am liking, I switched to the phalanx, I think. Yeah, I am enjoying the phalanx. I like the sound it makes a lot better than the other one I was using. Watch the engine! But the whole time I played this part in the game, initially, it just kept reminding me of, uh, like, this was what I left on Earth, you know? This is what Earth looked like. And, but the Asari had time to prepare. Did Leara die? There's a ramp here, Shepard. Might be our way through. Oh, she's like dark blue. I thought she was like grayed out, kind of. I think she actually died. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, like this is like I think our first time on like an actual planet, not just like Palavan's moon or something. Like I still can't face those things. My own people. Yeah. When we fought the Reapers, they turned our own children against us. I can't imagine that. They assumed we would hesitate to kill them. Did you? What answer would you prefer? Yeah. None. Let's stop talking about I this. mean, the children are being turned against you right now, too. It does feel like Java does a lot of, like, trying to one-up how terrible things were. But honestly, for like, the guy raised in the war that he was, like, I can't really blame him too much. Where he's like, listen, like, this is how it is to fight. It's all he's known is this. Is this fight, you know? And to be 50,000 years later and to see it again, like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't blame him too much, but... 
it is a bit like, okay, it's like, you know, someone, I don't know, like competing for martyrdom status. And it's like, like that in real life, that's very like, a faux pas, I feel like it's like listen, we everybody like everybody has suffered to some degree. <laughs> cool means, yeah, nope. One for the first cool means. My people have stopped the devils. They changed their minds when the Reapers arrived. Yep, nope. <laughs> it is so loud in my headphones too, like holy moly. Also, all the Reapers have to do when I show up is just like you know. They're a sorry. We might be able to reach them. And it, the Reaper is moving on. One left, we get to kill. I mean, buddy, 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 old pal. I only killed a Reaper once on foot, and it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever done in my life. Jeez, Louise. All I would have to do is step on me. I wouldn't be able to do anything. No sign of her yet. I'm right here! Enemy forces have tripled in strength. I'm cut off from outpost Tychus. Understood. I'm, Understood. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. It's good. It's Gucci. Where, where are you? Ooh. Yummy. Watch your head! I How don't... Did you hold Are history. Let's do some damage. Yikes! Grenade. Grenade. Then I thought I got out of the way of that. Nice shot. Did Javik go down? Where is the barrier? Going to cover. I can't see them. Oh, there it is. I think. No. Ooh. The widow. Uh, well, that's nice. I don't have a sniper capability. That's the last of them. Get moving, Commander. Toward the Reaper. It's a way out of here. You have an interesting yeah. concept of escape. Wait, what? No choice. Uh. Re Javik, please. Javik, please. Please move. <laughs> I need you to move. Yeah. My armor is so big now. These were like super peaceful going, places, man. right? Is about to like, this was a place where like the arts and like debate were like highly like like the, the the pinnacle of civilization, you know. And now it's all just rubble. This nightmare never ends. The hell it won't. We get to this artifact and we can all wake up. And this reminded me too much. Thousand years later. Yeah, oh yeah, that was, that was, oh, Shepard, that was maybe not the best thing to say. Um, this reminded me way too much at the time when I first played of Earth, like leaving Earth behind and seeing this the wreckage can't be like the this. Last I see of Thessia. We need to get to the temple, You know, Shepard. I wish I could actually figure out how to do that, you know? I'm, um, I don't think it's this way. I wouldn't mind jumping over there, but because they're like, go towards the Reaper, and I'm like, okay, but am I going towards the wrong Reaper? <laughs> oh, okay, this way, to the left. All right, all right. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! We're trying to reach outpost Tychus. You're looking at Yeah. Him. What about the rest of your squad? They're all dead. We tried punching through to the scientists, but I'm all that's left. What about reinforcements? We had gunship flying support, but they just got too hot with that Reaper. They can't chance it. I know it's rough, but I don't see another way in without their help. Have I told you how much I hate this war? Talon Swarm, this is Outpost Tychus. Is there anybody left on this frequency? We are in need of immediate air support. Commander Shepard is here. Copy, this is Talon 1. I'm on the way. They're not gonna make it. Ground targets confirmed. Weapons are hot. Light them up. Holding still seems like a bad idea, honestly. Talon 1, watch the jamming. Target acquired. 
Like, why would you hold still? I don't know anything about air uh, fighting, though, you know? So. This is Tower 5. Whatever you're gonna do, you better do it now. Go, Commander. I'll cover you from here. Commander Shepard, I've got your back. Thank you. But I'm gonna throw up. I'm trying to actually. I did not mean to do that. Oh my gosh, why is it right here? <laughs> I can't, but she's blocking my like way in, and I'm like, <laughs> like I can't. I'm stuck in a corner. You don't want to be stuck in a corner against the banshee. That's oh my gosh. Next time we go to war, maybe the alliance Oh, you want to say that? Are you say I am. Oh, this so frustrating. Maybe the alliance oh, is free for air support. Shit. Are you freaking serious? This whole time, the Alliance has been, like, on a shoestring budget, trying to figure out, um, oh, I could have, hmm, cool. You know what I mean? Like, the Alliance has been the one asking for help, and nobody's been able to help them, and then Liara has the gall to be like, well, maybe next time the Alliance could help. Yeah, sure, I wish you guys could have helped back when your planet wasn't being attacked. Ooh, where? What? Oh, jeez. I think the things are exploding. Bogey incoming. Hang tight while I shake him. Oh no. Oh jeez. Ow, 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 ow. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Where? How are they hitting me? Oh my gosh, this is, uh, this is bad. <coughs> Where? <coughs> I'm in trouble. My shields just took damage. Talon 5 going down. Repeat, Talon 5. Oh. Ah! I thought they left. We have to make it work somehow. Can the alliance? I'm so mad. <sighs> Looks like we're in the clear. Let's get inside. It appears the temple has been buried. Yeah. Let me take a look. It's military-grade encryption. I think I can override it. Do religion and military always mix? Good, good question. No, this is unusual. Especially since few still follow the Athame doctrine. Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those things where, like, by the goddess is just one of those things that people say. Like an old cultural hang-up. It's pristine in here. Hello? Your scientists should be here. Take a look around. Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. Brr. What's this? The goddess Athame's shield. Legends say she used it to protect Thessia when the heavens grew angry. Our ancestors were probably misinterpreting a meteor shower. It was an asteroid strike. We deflected uh, it. You mean the Protheans? Uh -huh. But that would imply Athame. Is not what you believe her to be. Just keep looking. <laughs> She's like, listen, Shepard's like, listen, I know we're doing the whole, like, aliens actually did interfere thing here, but, and, like, that totally messes with religion and everything, but we need to keep moving forward. But, yep, this is why you bring Javik, is because uh, if you don't bring Javik, you just get Liara's perspective on all of this. But with Javik here, he gets to tear her religion apart piece by piece, which is not my favorite, but sometimes, I don't know, you know, in this instance, this is the truth, and... I, it's not pretty, you know? Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. It's the goddess of Thames sword. Myths say she wielded it against the jealous gods who threatened our ancestors. They were a race called the Ora Voras. Thessia had vast resources. We protected you from them. 
Are you actually suggesting that the Protheans intervened in our past? It's more than a suggestion. I find it strange your scientists would abandon their own planet. They wouldn't. Yeah. It's cool, like, you come in here, because I think the first time I did this, I think I didn't have Jafik with me, maybe? And you just get the uh, the Asari side of things, but even if you even if you you know you do bring him, like you can still imagine what it would be like. It's like, oh yeah, Asari lore, like this is really cool. But then you have like this merciless guy, like really like I don't comforting wasn't the right word to use earlier. It was the closest I could come to think of it. But like I guess like he's trying to be. He's a soldier. He's a soldier, right? And like I'm not. <sighs> I'm not a huge fan of games where like an existing religion is like torn down. It's happening in Veilguard right now with the elves. Like, it's re religion is very complicated, right? And there's a lot of things in the real world that I have issues with with it. But I, what I really dislike is when like a native culture or some like something like that, a native culture's religion is seen as backwards or seen as lesser simply because it's like, oh, that can be explained by this, and you're like, so like. That's nice. I, I'm like that's cool. But like also let people I don't know believe as they will. You know what I mean? But like I don't know. You also like would want to know. It's like I don't know. It's I'm I'm not saying it very well. What about this one? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. I doubt this is it. It describes Lucin, Athame's guide who taught our ancestors about the stars. Your species was deemed to have potential. Pity you didn't live up to it. Yeah, and I think we see it more, but Javik says the, the Protheans intervened the most with the Asari because they deemed them the ones that were most likely to be the most useful out of all the, like, up-and-coming species that were, like, like us that hadn't quite developed yet. Like, they were still fairly primitive in the sense that, like, they didn't have, like, you know, it was, like, stone weapons and stuff like that as far as I know, but anyway... But look at that! Wow, crazy! Looks very familiar. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucin, one of the Thames servants who walked among my ancestors, bestowing knowledge. And you don't see the resemblance? Yeah. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. They had to know. The Protheans, though, like... I don't know, walk, it's one thing to be like manipulating things from above. The the Mars station for humans was just an observation station. They didn't, the Protheans didn't interfere with humanity. Um, Cause we were like way, we were still way behind the Asari. Um, but they directly interfered with the Asari. And like, what did they think was gonna happen? You know, that this stuff was not gonna turn into myth and legend, you know? Like, I don't know. The whole Star Trek directive sounds pretty good. You like, you know, when you when you come in on stuff like this, you know, alien manipulation of history. Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about a Thames guide granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshiping her. That gift involved years of genetic research. I. Uh, this is almost too much to take. Yeah, I know. The I, like having your religion torn off from underneath you piece by piece is not a pleasant experience, you know, regardless of what anyone says like, "Oh, now you know the truth." And it's like, "Well, sometimes the truth is a void and it's painful," you know? Like I don't feel any better for knowing the 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 truth or whatever. You know what I mean? Like the truth hurts, like truly. It's cliché. How about this? It's more from the Codex. Doesn't look promising. It describes how a theme taught our ancestors mathematics. Before that, you could only count as high as your toes. We took pity. Okay, mathematics is a stretch. Our people came up with that on their own. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a hard thing to come up with. Like, you eventually keep going and going and going and like, you know what I mean? Like, it builds upon itself. You don't need some know-it-all to teach you how to count above. Obviously, you can count more than your toes. There's things in leaves. You can count leaves and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was just a dumb one. I've got to say, the rest of it made sense. That was a dumb one, and I'm throwing it out. Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, a Thames guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. I'm, I don't think he gets any uh, joy out of doing this, out of tearing her religion apart. Also, I bet you any of the like scientisty, like anthropologist type Protheans, if there were any left, um, would handle this a lot better. But he probably just got the bare bones of it and is like just giving her what he learned, you know. And it's like <coughs> it's rough. 
What do you know about this? A fragment from the Codex. It's not what we need. It describes how Athame's guide, Janiri, gave my people seeds. He taught them the season so they could grow That's crops. the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I didn't want you to stop. Now, this is the dumbest thing I've ever... These two, these last two, incredibly dumb. This is like those weird conspiracy theories that think aliens, like, it, currently, in the real world, like, did everything that humanity ever did. It's like, listen, it's not... It doesn't... What it does is it just, like, totally, like, undermines and, like, subjugates an entire group of people to, like... A very like sort of racist ideology that like oh stupid idiot primitive people couldn't come up with any of this obviously aliens had to come in and do it and it's like it's a cumulative effect you think you think it living you think people just like sitting around and staring are, as the seasons go as things change around them they're not gonna pay attention and like notice things like we're, we're patterned humanity in particular is designed evolutionarily to like recognize patterns seasonal changes are not a difficult thing to notice you know like it's so frustrating <laughs> like stuff like that where it's like oh you have to be taught how to plant things i'm like you can watch a tree dropping seeds and then seeing later that more trees are popping up and that it, you know what i mean it's not that hard it's not that hard to see we're not stupid you're not just wandering around like blank slates like blah, 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 waiting for somebody to come right on you and tell you what to do <laughs> the others I the other the other bits I kind of understood. The mathematics one is dumb. That one's incredibly easy to figure out after a while. You know what I mean? Like it's just observations. It's patterns of observation. Oh oh I thought they were Cerberus for a second. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm guessing these are the scientists. What they were shot from behind by people they trusted. Obviously I've been going around because it's this stuff in the center that's gonna be the most important. Ooh, this one's very cool. What are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess of Thame. She's speaking to her ancient Asari followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Another one of your myths that somehow looks Prothean. What you're implying, it's staggering. You know, they're not actually... We were here in the beginning, watching you grow. A Thame was us. <laughs> That's actually really spooky. Um, it's not dissimilar the, the, the shape of the head, right? Where it's like you could see a Thame being a sorry, right? Because of like the pullback of the like tentacles or whatever but it's not that's not how it is on a prothean but you see the similarity right on the asari silhouette here hers is just a little bit more curved but you could you could see how this would be interpreted as just like a, a sim, sim, a symbolic representation of an asari right like a like a clean like a like a I don't know, what is the word I'm trying to think? I'm trying to like, talk this stuff while I'm playing video games and it doesn't work. But, um, a representational aspect that's like cleaner almost, like or like clearer cut, a different shape to indicate divinity. Uh, they would do that in the medieval period with their with artwork, um, is that like the people looked very weird and we look at them and we're like, wow, those artists didn't know how to draw people. No, it wasn't supposed to look like a real person. They were supposed to be representational. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it's representational of people, but people that were considered divine, right? Like, like divine-ish, like apostles, Mary, you know, all those uh, people. Um, so they don't look, they're not supposed to look human, and it was actually a really big deal when they started to make uh, people like Christ and like the apostles and Mary look more human. Uh, there was like a, there was like a schism, like a religious schism type thing, as far as I know. This is all stuff I've learned after like, like researching before going to Italy and then being in Italy. This was all, I don't really know, this is all stuff that was fairly new to me, like the whole schism of like Catholicism and stuff. I don't know much about it, but I know a little. It's the goddess of fame again. You can still believe that, but it won't change. I mean, she is a representation of the goddess of fame, you dick. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, this is what was considered a. It, it is a representation of the goddess of fame. Just because it turns out a fame is like the conglomerate of, of Protheans that took a very heavy hand, which doesn't surprise me that Protheans would take a heavy hand in doing this. What does surprise me is that the Reapers let the Asari live because of the severe interference of Protheans. That's why the Protheans destroyed the Mars observation observational post is because they didn't want the reapers to look any closely at humans because they were humans were like yeah we're still in the stone age right but it was like getting to be enough where they, the the reapers were like maybe gonna take us out just to like get a head start on the next cycle but like that's why the Protheans destroyed the mars observation post so the reapers wouldn't pay attention 
to humans. But instead, apparently, Reaperians are just like walking around amongst the Asari, and somehow the Asari were still able, and that's kind of why they had a head start too, right? They had a head, like the, the Asari had like a cultural, technological, you know, biotic head start on everybody in the galaxies because they were the Protheans' favorites. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I think we've got it everything. And with that, we'll go ahead and call it there. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my quinter patrons. Thank you so much, Vane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel, and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.